everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm teaching you how to download and install crack pack 3 this is an awesome mod pack we're gonna be going over every single step of getting it downloaded installed and set up today but first we do have a smart sponsor which is apex minecraft so you can go to the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get a crack pack 3 server set up quickly and easily without any issues whatsoever we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them and guess what if you do want to start that crack pack 3 server there's nothing complicated it's as simple as selecting just that server from a drop down menu and apex takes care of the rest you'll have your server up and running and be in game with under five minutes so nevertheless if you want to check out apex they are Incredible. You can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Now though, let's go ahead and get Crack Pack 3 installed because even if you get an Apex server, you will need to join your Crack Pack 3 server using the, you know, kind of Minecraft setup that we have in this video. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. First things first, we need to get the Twitch app. So you can find the Twitch app at the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on downloading, installing, setting up all that. The Twitch app, it goes over everything. However, we're going to be doing all that in this video. If you do want more in-depth, like what the Twitch app does and all that, these tutorials here will help. However, we're just going to click on this yellow download Twitch button. When we click this off, it's going to take us off to the Twitch download page here where we have the Twitch app for Windows. All we need to do is now click on the download for Windows button under the Twitch app for Windows there. When you click on that, it's automatically going to download here in the bottom left. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save this in the center of your screen. However, on Google Chrome, it's just downloading automatically. You don't need to save anything. It's a safe download to save, by the way, because I mean, it's from Twitch itself, right? Twitch.tv. Right, visual domain, all that. 100% safe to save that. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on your desktop, we have the Twitch setup. Awesome. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. It's going to be in your downloads folder. And you can get to that because the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that. Go ahead and type in downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that. And then in here, you'll have Twitch set up. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get Twitch set up. To do that, double click on the Twitch setup you have downloaded. It'll open up this handy installer where you just want to click on this purple install button. And then go ahead and install Twitch. The only part of this entire tutorial that is going to be different for you than it is for me is you will need to log in to Twitch. It's going to auto log me in here, but you will need to log into Twitch in order to get this to work. That's the only thing that's going to be different. And yes, you must have a Twitch account in order to get this mod pack. To get Crack Pack 3, you will need a Twitch account. So when yours opens, it's going to be a login box. Log into your Twitch.tv account if you don't have one, create one. And then once you're here on this screen, which will be the screen you land on after you log in, click on the mods tab up here at the top. And then you'll have Minecraft over here on the right hand side or maybe down the page or whatever. But you'll have Minecraft here grayed out. Click on Minecraft and then it's going to say let's play Minecraft. And then click on this purple install button right here. It's then going to install what it needs to install for Minecraft. And now what we want to do is click on browse mod packs and then we want to search crack pack 3. So crack pack 3. Boom. There it is. Crack Pack 3 right there. Hover over that and you'll see a purple install button appear over it. Click on that purple install button and it will go ahead and start downloading Crack Pack 3. Pretty simple stuff and overall a very, very easy way to install a mod pack. Now, this part's going to take a minute, right? And actually, from this point forward, it's going to take a minute. Everything about mod packs takes a while. Installing them, opening them, everything, even running servers with them, it takes forever to start those servers. So anyway, go ahead, let this just install and set up. We're going to do that and see you after a quick jump cut. And then we have it. Crack Pack 3 is installed. You can see there is a purple play button here on it. Now that'll appear after it has finished installing and you click on that purple play button to open it. However, you normally you'll have this my mod packs page right over here. Click on that and click play. That's where you're normally going to play from, play Crack Pack from. I always like to mention that because a lot of times people are like, well, how do I play it after? You know, I don't want to play all the mod pack in one session. Well, it'll be here in the mods tab, Minecraft, and then right here in the mod, mod, my mod packs tab, we can click on that purple play button. Now it's going to go ahead and download yet again, this time, the Minecraft launcher. Once this is downloaded, you will need to log into the Minecraft launcher, right? So this is going to be the default normal Minecraft launcher that you are used to. And you will need to, of course, log into that using the official login details that you normally use with Minecraft Launcher. Because guess what? This is the normal Minecraft Launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And once I've logged in, I will show you how to actually play Crack Pack from there and how to add more RAM and make sure you have enough and all that stuff. There we go. We have now logged in. And if we go ahead and look down here in the bottom left, we have Crack Pack 3 here. Now you could go ahead and click play. By the way, if this isn't here, go ahead and click on that little arrow drop down and click on Crack Pack 3. If it's still not there, no worries. Just close out of the Minecraft Launcher and click that purple play button again. By the way, this time 
time, just automatically log you in and all that. So awesome stuff. And Crack Pack 3 will be down here. Now, most of the time you click play, it's going to work, it's going to be fine, but sometimes it'll crash during startup or randomly crash. A lot of times this is due to RAM. Sometimes it can be due to CPU usage, right? So make sure you do have a decent CPU. But most of the time, this is due to RAM, and how can we add more RAM to this? Well, it's pretty simple. Click on Installations up here at the top of Minecraft, then hover over Crack Pack 3, click on these three lines over here on the right, and click on Edit. Then I'm going to change my resolution just so I can see better once we get in game, and you all can see better once you get in game, and then click on More Options here. Then right here at the top, we have XMX 3200. I'm going to change this to XMX 5200M, basically meaning there is going to be 5,228 megabytes, or like 5.2 gigabytes-ish of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. Now we want to go ahead and click save in the bottom right. Now we can hover over Crack Pack 3 and click that green play button or come back over here and click the green play button here as long as it says Crack Pack 3 down here to the left. Now, guess what? It's going to download some more. Of course it is. It's going to download some more files here. I'm going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut, and then I will see you once these files have finished downloading. As soon as the download finishes, it will go ahead and close out of the Minecraft launcher there. Now, it might look like nothing's happening at first. That's okay. Give it a minute or two, and then boom, it will open up this, which is going to be obviously Crack Pack starting up and guess what this is going to take a while i've seen this take up to five to ten minutes per mod pack some mod packs will take up to 15 minutes to open up that's okay as long as you have enough ram dedicated it's not going to crash not going to have any issues and if it does have any issues let's say it was to like turn white and go non-responding and all that stuff if that happens wait for a bit don't just immediately assume it's crashed because a lot of times it hasn't actually 99 percent of the time it hasn't just let it sit for a minute or two and it will work itself out and continue on opening up the mod pack so anyway we're gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut once this is finished i will see you to show you that it is in fact installed from the crack pack main menu and then also open up a single player world in crack pack 3 just to make sure everything is working all right here we are on the crack pack 3 main menu i don't think there's any denying crack pack 3 is installed but if you wanted to play multiplayer like on a apex server you would just click on multiplayer and add that server here however if you want to play single player which is what we're going to do just to test this you're going to open up this create world and you're going to see a lot of different stuff here so do you want to generate structures do you want to allow the bonus chest do you want to allow cheats all of that stuff we're actually going to go creative here because that's just what i like to do you can set your you know world name here i'm just going to name it crack pack 3 and then you can set your seed. So if you want to do a seed there, by default, it's custom. And then your world type topography. As you can see, what kind of world do you want? I would recommend topography, right? That's what I would recommend because this is what they have it kind of set up as. It's all custom, all that stuff. That's what you're going to be expecting. So that's what I would leave it as. Now let's go ahead and create a new world. This is going to take a minute yet again. And I will see you after a quick jump cut once the world has been generated. So here we are in Crack Pack 3. As you can see, we've got open blocks. We've got the blueprint package, which is cool. Kind of get us started off there. We've got the Forester's Manual. And then we also do have the Astral Tomb, which is, uh, I, don't, I don't honestly know what this is, to be honest. This might be kind of part of the, you know, I don't know. What, what mod is this a part of? Hold on. Astral Sorcery. That is really, really cool. So yeah, this is Crack Pack 3. It is a lot going on here. We are, as you can see, spawning like, I think, a tall, tall, tall evergreen forest style biome. That's really cool. And then over here, we do have those structures, those ruins as well. So much stuff, so much cool stuff to explore. And overall, this is a, an awesome mod pack. This is a unique seed. But yeah, this is an awesome mod pack and definitely something I would recommend everybody playing. It's very unique, very custom, but also has a lot of automation and just fun stuff in it. But nevertheless, you can see here, we now have Crack Pack 3 set up. There is no doubt about that. If you do have any questions about Crack Pack 3, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. We have factions, we have Skyblock, we have Survival, they are all absolutely incredible. Factions is 1.8, amazing, custom everything. And then we do have Skyblock as well with OP enchants, bench generators, and of course 1.8 PvP. And then we do have our Survival Worlds, Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, and Aquatic Survival with an awesome slash shop-based economy. So come play with us, playdownbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.